Centerville residents were heard tonight, less than two months before they will decide the fate of a school levy in March. Well, their voices were already heard in November when they rejected a 5.9 mil levy, and now Centerville City Schools is trying again. Two News reporter Seth Byrd joins us live outside MagSig Middle School, where the district was hoping to convince the community to support it this time. Seth, what's the community saying? Brooke and John, parents and community members packed MagSig Middle School's auditorium to share their thoughts with Centerville City Schools. Many expressing they understood where the district was coming from, but money is tight on all fronts. A lot of people have different opinions about what we are um, wanting uh, the coming this March. Since the failure to pass a levy, Centerville City Schools has already made reductions that include limiting new hires and overtime, among other things. When it came for the public to ask questions, they were wanting the district to go elsewhere. You know, insurance was brought up, benefits, um, uh, cutting admin instead. Um, yeah, there were a lot of other ways that they were brought up. And Centerville City Schools is placing a 3.9 mil levy projected to generate $11.2 million per year. The average homeowner evaluated at $100,000 would pay $11.40 per month if it passes. One of the main causes is expense for most things have gone up, including buses. Bus prices have gone up about 39% uh, per bus. Uh, fuel prices uh, for, for busing, diesel fuel has been up. I think in our budget, uh, it's been about $300,000 increase uh, for this year just in fuel costs. If the levy doesn't pass, the district would enter phase two of budget cuts, including eliminating more than two dozen positions and raise fees for families. Many parents who have young ones in the district are worried about the quality of education they will receive if it does not pass, including Maha Kashani, who has enjoyed her child's experience in the district so far. I did not know as a parent that this was going to be my experience, and it's blown me away. And we're at the beginning of our journey. I don't want to see the quality get reduced. The next forum will take place at Watts Middle School on February 22nd at 6.30 p.m. Live in Centerville, Seth Bird, 2 News.